Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Chasing Dreams podcast. Today I have our guest, Miss Kelly Rucker, and we are talking about the iridescence effect. And we'll get into a little bit about what that means in a little bit. But I want you to meet Kelly. She's a makeup artist and an educator. She has experience in many areas of the industry from application to management. She also creates curriculum and content on applications, techniques, and procedures. She's dedicated to helping women of color change their perspective of beauty through self-realization. Welcome to the podcast. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So I'd like to start off the conversation by just asking, what's the dream for you? Okay, so um, the dream for me is to create a platform where we can come up with um, a beauty selling model that's for women of color. So basically, I feel like it's part is certain areas of the beauty industry that people of color, women of color, that um, they're allowed to um, participate in, and then it's some that that's not. And I want to make that a whole. I want us to be a part of uh, from sourcing the ingredients from uh, for the products right, to right. distribution, product yeah. development. You know, naming the products like it's so such a big spectrum, and they just put us in this little space. Right. And so that is the purpose. That's the dream. That's the vision. For maquillage de toi, like that's what we're doing, taking over the beauty industry. Awesome. So when did you realize the dream and how has it changed over the years? Okay, so I initially came up with the name maquillage de toi in 2015. Okay. I was actually um taking a course, a business course, um, um, through an initiative here in Detroit. And um, I said, okay, let me look up the name. What do, because I know Detroit is um, Detroit in French. I knew okay. that. So I was like, let me look up the name for makeup. I wonder what makeup is in French. And so okay. when I looked it up, it looked like McQuillage. So I had to <laughs> press the button so I could hear them pronounce it. And it was maquillage. And I was like, ooh, that I sounds like You know, a and it goes <laughs> Yeah, it's a little razzle dazzle. Okay. So I up with the name. And then um I'm an artist, so we know that artistry is a part of the brand, but I wanted it to be more. And you know, as the years went on and stuff like that, I noticed in the industry that how um diverse it wasn't, you know, I and it upset me, you know, when I'm talking to higher ups about getting, you know darker foundations in our assortment we're losing money and they're not paying attention to you know what i'm saying and things like that but i'm selling to your customers you know every day and things like that so i noticed the void and i wanted to do something about it you know i'm always the person that um i want to be the change that i want to see yeah you know and um i'm a people person as well i like to exchange dialogue i like to exchange information. I like to give information and give people resources to, yes. you know, do whatever they choose to do. Yeah. So, you know, that's, it came to, to full fruition, I want to say in 2020, okay. when I wanted to implement, you know, who I am as a person and my artistry mm-hmm. and my beliefs into one conglomerate. Yeah. And one thing I want to point out, um, because the the purpose of this podcast is to really show blueprints for different types of dreams. Um, But one thing I want to point out is you said you first had the dream in 2015, but it didn't even come to fruition until 2020. Like a lot of times we see these dreams and expect it tomorrow. Baby, sometimes you gotta you gotta let things marinate for a second. Right. (laughs) Understand and trust Mm -hmm. the process. Um, and the same for me, like I've been in business for over four years now. I've always known I wanted to be a full-time Congratulations. Entrepreneur. Thank you. Um, but it, you know, it took decades since I knew I was going to be a business owner, but three years into the business before I had reached that goal. So you got to understand, like, it's going to take work. It's going to take effort, but even overnight successes been working for a long time. You just didn't know yeah. about their work until right. You didn't see that. You didn't see that ten years, ten years of hard work. You just seen the 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 instant gratification, which that's to the outside looking in. But that person putting that work know how much they work know it was. was put into that dream. Yeah, 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we're here talking about the iridescent effect. Tell us what that means, what it looks like. Break it, break it down for us regular folks. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, here at Maquillage Day Twi, we do everything with intent and everything has like a meaning. Yeah. I look up um, things. I want to go deep into the meaning of, um, of things. So let's just start with Maquillage Day Twi um, logo. It's a dragonfly. Okay. And so I picked the dragonfly because it is just a very majestic creature. Okay, so the cool thing, one of the many cool things about a dragonfly is it has four wings. It has two sets of wings, so it has four in total. Okay. So these wings can, you can use them individually or collectively. Now, by the dragonfly being able to do this, they can fly in all six directions, including backwards. So, you know, if that's just majestic in itself. In it only yeah. Yeah, and it only needs, okay, so a dragonfly flaps its wings 30 flaps a minute, whereas a fly or a mosquito is going to do 600 to 1,000 flaps a minute. So, you know, the dragonfly is doing optimal work with minimal effort. First, that's one thing that I liked about it. It's a word for <laughs> so, somebody. I just said, so, okay, and then they have an iridescence feature to them, and this iridescence can be found either on their wings or their elongated body or both. So now when we look into the definition of iridescence, iridescence is the property of an object to show itself in different colors depending on the angle or polarization of the light falling on it. So mm -hmm. the purpose of the iridescence effect is to teach us how to change according to whatever light is falling on us. If we okay. have to, if it's the Venus's mm -hmm. light, we got to flex that wing and yeah. be in this business mind. I'm yeah. a mother. If I have to do the mother thing, I have to flex that wing and show in that different light. So that is the purpose of the iridescence effect, to teach us how to switch based on the angles of the light that's falling on us. You know, and sometimes it's darkness falling on us. Mm -hmm. We have to be able to be equipped to handle that, especially when we're talking about dreams and chasing dreams and things that we acquire you know it's not going to be like a tiptoe through the tulips Hello. you know and then this is like iridescence is about self-mastery and self-love yeah. and self-mastery is not pretty self-healing is not pretty it's not one, one more time for the folks in the back who didn't <laughs> catch that please <laughs> self-healing is not pretty trust me i go through it all the time in, in life you have to it's it's a constant destroy and rebuild yourself yeah you get what i'm saying i'm not the same woman that i am at 37 that i was at 30 yeah. even at 35 you know it's all about evolution and that's what the iridescence effect is about evolving and being able to switch depending on What's what on? society what the world calls upon us because yeah. it's not a lot of lot of uh resources teaching us that yeah yeah you know what i'm saying and Absolutely. it's not a lot of resources that's teaching us that in beauty you know and and, and it's so it gets the picture distorted of you know what is beautiful and what is attractive mm -hmm. you get yes. what i'm saying yes. like like childbirth is beautiful that's a beautiful thing you know it's it's so beautiful but watching the baby head come out of the vagina is not cute at all. I know I didn't seen it and I did it twice. It wasn't cute. Listen, it was beautiful. I Most need your beautiful eyes up here. It happened to me. <laughs> right, like I need your eyes up here where mine are, okay? You don't need to see is nothing that going, going go on. Is that gonna go back? <laughs> Listen, you don't, so you don't need to I'm see saying. nothing down there, I promise. <laughs> right, right, exactly. So that is like the iridescence effect. We're changing the perception of beauty through self-realization because when you realize who you are, that's the beauty of it all. And then once you get that, everything else will fall in place and exude, mm. you know, radiant, the iridescence. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So what is the purpose and the reason behind Maquillage de Fla? Because I've seen a void. I've seen a void where my people, okay, look, how did we go from Adam C.J. Walker being mm. like this beauty conglomerate, like she was throwing like 
she was throwing like the uh conferences and the seminars and they weren't just talking about like beauty products and stuff in these in these seminars they was talking about selling strategies they was talking about marketing they was talking about the whole beauty model right yeah. and this was a hundred years ago because cj uh madam cj walker passed away like the around i would say 1918 because it was a the last pandemic, but she didn't die from the pandemic. Right, right. But she, uh, it was around that time. Okay, so she was thriving before the pandemic, just a little tidbit. She was thriving before the pandemic and right. was still thriving. She died for something else. It wasn't because of that. So right. however we go, how do we go from her doing that, being the conglomerate to, we don't have like one conglomerate brand that can reach in and save us or, or buy us when it's time for us to get acquired we getting acquired by L'Oreal. You right. know what I'm saying? We getting acquired by uh, Fenty is owned by Louis Vuitton. You know, right. where, where is our safe haven to be like, okay, we going to reach down and take and, and help y'all and we going to have a conglomerate. We don't have that. Yeah. So we don't have that. And I don't like it. And I want to do something about it. Like where I'm from, if we don't like something, we do something about it. Hello. So. Hello. My mama told me, she said, listen, don't complain about nothing you're not about to fix. Okay? Exactly. If, you, if you're not going to do nothing to even attempt to fix it, what you complaining about? You got one time to complain with me, complain to me about one problem, the same problem, the second time we got to talk about solutions. solutions. I'm not about to keep exactly. hearing that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what's in store for my cash day twice? Okay. So I just launched the website today. So I'm yeah! super excited, super, super, super excited. And I started blogging. So on the um, site, you'll have like my services. You'll have my blog where I talk about stuff in the industry and stuff like that. Like I'm a super like nerd artsy type of person. So I'm always like reading and stuff like that. So I'll keep you up to date with like information and stuff like that. So next on the list is basically just to pump out my blog, get as many people to you know, coming because I want feedback too. What are you guys, what do you feel like is missing in the industry? I want to build um, a, a family. So you say something to, to base what I want to do, the beauty model one. You know, if I can get somebody that's a chemist, a woman of color that's a chemist, and somebody over here that's uh, in the product development, right. you know, I, I, that's the goal. That's Perfect. what I want to do. That's what's next. Absolutely. Yes. Well, drop the link, sis. <laughs> okay <laughs> i don't know they need to check out this blog where can they find it so at maquillagedetois.com so it's m-a-q-u-i-l-l-a-g-e-d-e-t-r-o-i-t.com awesome so how can we stay in the know with all that's going on in your world all that's going on in the beauty world um, I know you mentioned the blog, but how else can we stay in the know? Okay, so I'm on uh, Facebook um, under Maquillage Day Trois. Facebook, Instagram, I have a Pinterest page. I don't have a Twitter. I'm old. I ain't never really got with Twitter. Uh, I had it like what time? And I was like, this a lot. So I never <laughs> went back. <with it. laughs> this was like years ago. Gotcha. So um, I have those. Um, and then I have Maquillage daytois.com um i do have a um, shopping link on there where i have like the iridescent um collection which is like an assortment of pretty like makeup bags and stuff like that we got like five different colors we have some unbothered um, jade rollers which is like jade rollers for your face it okay. helps with like um your lip noise and like um detoxing the skin and putting um helping like uh, your moisturizers and your serums yeah. absorb it to the skin. We also have like lip wines and um, eyelash brushes because uh -huh. we're going back to work and we have to be sanitary. So uh -huh. I'm not recommending uh, when you're doing faces, we're not doing lip brushes. We're not doing, we're doing disposable sponges, okay. lip brushes, and um, eyelash wines. I just, at this time, just make sure your customer feel comfortable yeah. with you doing that. Like, you know, and that's another thing that I'll have those type of tips, you know, sanitation with the CDC, right. CDC stuff like that. I, I look at it all. So I'll be sharing all of that information with you guys. Awesome. Awesome. So what would you say is your number one secret to success? Um, being authentic. When I came into this and I said that I was going to write a blog, 
I really thought about like how I'm gonna write my blog because um like I can write you know um politically correct and stuff like that but I'm just thinking like no I I really want to be who I am yeah I want to be who I am and I want to get my point across especially when I'm talking to my people because even look and when I say my people if you understand the message I'm trying to relate then you my people you get what I'm saying so if if you're not understanding how I'm talking or what I'm saying to you, then my message is not for you. And I'm okay with that. And that's absolutely okay. Yes. And I'm okay with that. I know who God put on my heart to help. Yeah. You know, and he's going to lead those people to me. Long as I do what he asked me to do and I have ears to hear what he want me to do. Okay. I'm, I'm okay. Tiara, I was so worried about going back to work. I swear I did not want to go back to work. Yeah. Like I did not want to go back to work and I have been worried. And you know, I'm a mother. So at the end of the day, yeah. I have to, you know, maintain. And I got that call today and it was just so funny. And I was just like, I don't even know why I worry because I knew he was going to have me as long as I do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. And it always happens that way. It really, really does. Like when, so God is moved by faith first and foremost. So when you do things and you show him, you trust him, he will show up and show out every single time. Mm-hmm. And then God, we've been having this What part I move off? Okay. okay, so um, that's how I know that, you know, um, Healing ain't pretty because, you know, at the beginning, you know, of the year, I had asked God for some things that I wanted, you know, and this being one of the things, and I asked him to prepare me, you know, like mentally, physically, spiritually prepare me for this journey that I want, you know, and he was like, you sure you want this? And I was sure. like, yeah, and, <laughs> and okay, and I'm, I'm telling you, it, it had been days I'd have been crying, like, but I didn't, I didn't felt so better, like, just really just fleshing all that old mindset and how, you know, people view me and stuff like that. That's another thing that go back to iridescence effect. You throwing off that old skin of yeah. what society feel you should be, what your family feel you should be. What, what do your, your soul say you should be? You get what I'm saying? Yes, man. Uh, listen, you preaching to the choir. We're going to go ahead and pass them on the collection plate, okay? <laughs> Well, well, <laughs> for sure. Well, but I don't preach. I don't preach. But I'm just saying. I, I'm just say. I just tell what real. I know. It's real for sure. So, where? Uh, what final thoughts do you have for the audience? Okay, my final thoughts is uh, be empowered. Be empowered, and we're at a time where it's a new revolution. It's just the energy of change. It's just the energy to be, if, if God put that thought in your head, it's a possibility. You can do it. Why is it there? You know what I'm saying? So okay. this is just, just, you know, educate yourself and self-love, self-mastery. That's, that's my thing. Continue to always work on yourself. Long as you got breath in your body, it's always room to evolve. I'm just here to help. Absolutely. This has been an amazing conversation, girl. I feel empowered. Okay. I feel the energy. Okay. I'm thank like, you. Okay. Thank. <laughs> Where can people <laughs> find you, um, you if they want to learn more, if they want to follow your journey, if they want to buy some of your products and services? Where can people find you? Okay. So, maquillagedaytois.com. Let me spell it because y'all know it's crazy. It's M A. Q U I L L A G E D E E R O I T dot com. Maquillage de dot com on Instagram, on Facebook, on Pinterest. Um, you can find me, Kelly Rucker, on LinkedIn. Um, it's a newsletter on the website. So sign up for the loop, the newsletter. Um, it's inquiries. Um, I'm always looking for people that want to contribute content. You can contribute content remotely. You know, if you have any questions, if you want a a specific topic covered in the industry, just shoot me an email. Trust me. I be my sleep patterns is crazy. I be up. So just, (laughs) I promise I'll get to you within 24 hours. Yes. I love it. Make sure y'all follow her follow her journey, support her journey, okay? Y'all, y'all, those of y'all who love makeup, you just found a source. 
Enjoy. Right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Kelly. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you for giving me this platform. Like I was nervous, but you made it so like comfortable. Thank you so much. And you know, I'm gonna try to come down there in September and I'll plug you too to other people um doing your podcast and stuff like that. Cause they already been asking, like, how you drop in? You got promo, girl. <laughs> you gotta okay. be proactive. You gotta be proactive and not reactive. So Hello. How <laughs> You got to be proactive and not reactive, okay? That'll get you fine life in and of itself right there. Right. We could drop the mic. My own promo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, we'll see you next week, guys.